Hi everyone, Rob here from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. I've had a question from one of my students about how to download copies of content from her Moodle course. So I'm going to show you how to download a couple of different types of content here from one of my courses on the CBU Moodle server. Now, my content, I primarily organize it using a tool called the Moodle book. So I'm in student preview mode here now. So you're going to see exactly what a student would actually see. I'm going to find one of those Moodle books. They use these icons here. And I am going to open up this first one. And you'll see that it's got some text-based content on a few pages. It has got, uh, on this page here, it's got some YouTube videos. It's got uh, some readings, uh, some links to some readings. So how do I download all of this and save it to my computer so I can access it offline or I can continue to benefit from these course books, these topics, once the course is over? Well, the easy way for a Moodle book is not to do this a single page at a time, but on the left side of your screen here, you'll see the table of contents, then your course navigation. Scroll on down a little further and you'll see administration for the book. What I'm going to do is click print book. It's going to open up a print preview here for me. I'll click print book again and I can select my printer or save as PDF. What you want to do if you want an offline copy is click on that save as PDF and I'm going to just save it in my downloads area. I'm going to accept the default name which is the name of the book and uh, I will download that file. So now if I go to my uh, downloads area I see the PDF here. I open this up and I've got information about when I printed this. My text-based content is here. It's divided up the same way it is online. So the same amount of content per, per page. And if I scroll on down a little bit further, I'm going to find my first bit of interactive content, which is this reading here. So this link is actually active. I click on that, it's going to open up that PDF for me. If I scroll on down a little further, you're going to see some of those YouTube videos that I had embedded. If I click on the title, it's going to open up that YouTube video for me and I can watch it. So I have a fully interactive version of the content that is in that Moodle book. Well, what about if the content is not in the form of a Moodle book? What if it's just a page? Well, this is an example of a page here. This is my contact information. So it's a single page. Now, I can't get the option for page administration the way that I can for, uh, for the Moodle book. But with this page open, I can right click anywhere and just click print. And in this case, again, I'm going to hit save as PDF. And again, I'll accept the name. So this is instructor contact information. I'm going to save it under my downloads go back to my downloads folder and I'll just hit refresh on here and here's the new page that I downloaded so this is a single page of content from the course and you'll see that uh, any hyperlinks that are in here such as my email address those are active so they will still work for you uh, web pages will still work you can still open those up and get to those pages so all of that interactive content will still work and that is how you can download an offline copy, an interactive offline copy of any of the content from within the course besides individual files for course readings.